Oh shoot. Hi. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Noah Woodward and welcome back to my channel. So I didn't know if this was going to be an ongoing thing, but a few weeks ago I analyzed Ariana Grande's vocal evolution from 1998 to 2020 and I wanted to see if there were more videos like that online with other artists and maybe possibly make it a series or something. You guys seem to love it and I loved doing it. So we are going to be watching Lady Gaga's best live vocals from 2009 to 2019. I have not watched this at all. It was posted a year ago, so it is a little older. Um, that's why 2020 is like not really in here, but also 2020 is a bad year to begin with, so it doesn't matter. Before we begin, I would just like to say follow my social medias. My Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat are linked down below as well as on the screen at the end of the video. So feel free to follow me. I do weekly live streams every single week for the rest of the summer. So if you would like to stay caught up, join the family, um, click subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and like this video if you enjoyed. Also comment down below who I should analyze next time time without further ado let's begin the vid oh what is this you ask well let me tell you this is called a circle spelled with a k circle it's a water bottle haha <laughs> go figure so i just want to start by saying that this is so cool um in here is water right but in here is raspberry tea flavoring and when you drink it the water goes into the thing and it dispenses raspberry tea into your mouth but it's water. It's like literally a magic trick. Like I just get so impressed. I'm like, oh my God. Um, but yeah, you um, can change all these cartridges. So you don't have to get raspberry tea. I have vanilla iced coffee here, which I'm gonna be trying very soon. And then I have mixed berry and fruit punch as well. Um, on the cap, it has a safety seal, you know, protect from the COVID-19. Um, also it has a flavor dispense amount. So if you only want like one, you can go from one to 10. So 10 is like super intense raspberry tea flavor. Um, and one is like little to none and it's pretty much, or you can just do all water. If you don't have flavor, you can just use it as a regular water bottle too. It doesn't matter. Um, it is made out of plastic, BPA free, all those things as well. And then these things, look at this. These things are only like three bucks for one of them. And it, it takes six refills. Like you can refill your water bottle six times. Um, but I, if you don't dispense it on the highest setting, you can actually just like use it like 10 to 15 times. Um, so it really could last a while. Also, if you click my link down below, you can get your starter kit for $8, like I said. Um, and you can also get $5 off your first order of like flavors and your subscription, like your flavor pack that you want because they come in like packs of four or you can buy them separate. It does not matter. Um, if you click my link down below, you can get the water bottle here for only $5 the water bottle starter kit for $5 and two flavors come free, fruit punch and mixed berry. So you can get all of that for $5 with so many refills and then um, each flavor pack after that is only like three bucks. So it's definitely a steal and you should check it out. Enough of that, let's get into the video. Also, sorry, I look really bad. It's like 11 at night and I just got out of the shower. Eh. Aw, I remember this back then. Look at her foot. Okay, so something so awesome about Lady Gaga is her voice can sound different every single time. And first of all, that's how you know she's not lip syncing. But also, like, she has such a cool tone to her voice, like that fun, that nasal that she puts in there. <clears throat> Listen, 2009, but this was the performance of the decade. This is still the performance of my lifetime. Wow, okay. If you're sensitive to fake blood, click off, I'm sorry. I watch a lot of Lady Gaga videos, right? But I am always so drawn to the ones where she's just sitting at a piano. Anybody else? Is that just me? I was hoping to give some like constructive criticism in these videos. That's like what this series is for. So I'm like analyzing things they do with their voice, good things, but also like some bad things that I think it would sound better just because I am a music student. So I have like some, not a lot of knowledge about the voice and I just like to use my skills in my everyday life. And this is a great way to do it. But with all these amazing singers, there's nothing wrong with them. So I can't like critique anything. Oh, this is one of my favorite songs, my favorite songs by her. It's just so, what a staple.
Grammys. I love that hair. Her high ponytails are always so good. And she's bringing them back with Chromatica. I love it. I'm getting way too late at midnight. Oh, her best song. This is her best song. Hello, Mary the Night. How are you? Her voice does not sound as strong in this performance, though. I'm not like trying to bash, because, you know, all opinion based. But I get it, she's tired dancing. VMAs, she opened the VMAs with this. Are you kidding? Vibrato. It's showtime. That drop gets me every time. I love that hair. I love this bridge. Oh, she sounds incredible, just like the track. This is not no IP. That was a little strained, but also she's not. That's pitched, so disregard. Oh, the cheek to cheek stuff is so good too. I need to get into this album more. Do you guys remember, this went viral on like Vine, I think, like so many years ago. That clip of her singing this song, that note, that Arosa, and she takes the microphone, or maybe it went viral on Twitter, I don't know. She took the microphone away from her, and you could still hear her just as loud, and... Oh, She's, see what I mean? She's impersonating the original. And she sounds so good doing it, using that different voice that she just like picks out of her. Oh. Um, like this video surfaced the internet after A Star Is Born came out and they were like, oh, she sang it a long time ago too. And I was like, oh, what? So then I watched it and I was like, wow. I think the A Star Is Born version is a little better, but this look at the emotion, you can just tell. Oh. Oh. See, that's the thing. Does that, is that a good or a bad? You have to like think of it. Like, is that good or bad, what she just did? She sang, la vie, and then when she did the end, she got really sharp, really, really sharp. Um, and then she cracked. Oh, this is incredible too. If they show her national anthem at the Super Bowl, I'm done. Switching into that head voice right there, she said dream, but still like mixed and projected. Something I can't do, but she did. I so many people got so mad at this performance, not mad at it, but they just didn't think it was her best. I love this performance. They just didn't think it was that good. shaking a little bit and then it's just like what <laughs> oh how the club should have been me go I feel like they look like sisters 
That was good. That is one of the highest notes that she's hit in the R-pop and before era. Like before this song, she's like never really belted the F sharp like that, like in any song. And then she did it in this song and we were like, oh, she's gonna do it live. And then she does, but then a lot of times she cracks and strains during it or just goes really flat and doesn't hit the right note. Um, doesn't sound bad. You can just tell that it's not like correct, but she like covers it by growling and doing all these things because she's very smart. Um, but that one was really good. Perfect illusion. I got you. I don't really care for this song that much, just like piano. I like I like the track. Oh, this is beautiful. When, remember when she did this whole era and everyone was like, oh my God, she's dressing normal? And we were all like, what do you mean? Like, like the general public was like, oh, she looks normal. Like, who is that? Making jokes. And I was like, just be quiet, you know? Cause it was all like for the vibe, you know, Joanne era. Honestly though, for her performances, she's usually like pretty extravagant. And this is so lax. I don't know where this is, what performance this is, but she is very, yeah. See what I mean? She's always extravagant, I love it. This is it. Her mouth is open. Uh, bring it into your nose. Ready. Sorry, I was singing, but like you guys know, it sounds amazing. This performance makes me cry every time. That was one of that was. Oh my god. I'm so mad this song didn't get like better reception from the general public. It never really blew up. I guess that maybe that's not what she wanted because it's like really personal. But also, I think it was in a movie too. Oh, this was so good too. I love her hair. This was the AMA, but she filmed it on her tour. I like this like different intro she did before she started the real song. Oh. oh, when she was like up in the sky at the Super Bowl and she just like dived in, dove in. Did. This song really shined on the Enigma tour or residency, whatever. This song shined. Oh, I didn't really care for this performance that much. Not gonna lie. This part was just kind of like wacky. I like this one better. Missed the note, but I mean, you know what I mean. You're fine. <laughs> like you're at the Golden Globes, I think. Or was it the Emmys? Something. She won like every single award ever that year for A Star Is Born, so. So that was it. That was Lady Gaga's Vocal Evolution from 2009 to 2019. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought of the video. I would love to keep doing this as a series. So comment down below what artist you would like me to react and analyze to next. Um, please subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Once again, click the link in my bio for an $8 water bottle with two flavor packs for free and $5 off your order after that. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for sticking with me and I will see you next time. Mwah. Bye. Subscribe. This is the channel to subscribe to. If you're gonna subscribe to any.